I finally got the cell shaded retro spidey figure. It took quite a while for the figure to reach me. I think it's been more than a month and I finally have it in hand. I had to keep on asking the seller when it would be shipped out and it really took quite some time before it was finally shipped out. And as usual, it's not even packed in a box, just wrapped in bubble wrap and in the black plastic bag. As usual, because it wasn't sent in a box, there are always dents on the clamshell. Look at that. So yeah, that's always the case when you order a figure, MISB from AliExpress. It's very rare they actually put it in a box when they mail you. Here's the original and the bootleg. And I'm going to share with you two ways to spot the bootleg packaging. The first one is the letter M at the front. For the bootleg, Quite a big chunk of the top part of the letter M here is cut off. But on the original, the corner of the letter M is right at the edge. So that's the first difference from the front, the letter M getting cut off for the bootleg. And for the second difference at the back is the serial number. Not about what the numbers are because even between original, the number may be different. But more of the position for the original, the number 2 is right below the T over here from the word Torna. But for the bootleg, the number 2 is below the word S from Super. So that's the second way to spot the original by the position of the number at the back. I think the position of the serial number is a consistent thing between the original figures. And there's actually a third difference which is about the tape on the clamshell. On the original, the tape is really neat and horizontal on the hands. But for the bootleg, you can see the tape being slanted, not as neat as the original. And there is a tape across this webbing for the bootleg figure, but on the original, there isn't any tape on either of the webbing. So yeah, the obvious way to spot the bootleg is by looking at the letter M. Now let's check out the differences between the figure. Here are the two figures out of the packaging and straight off, the quality of the bootleg is really terrible. I don't even know where to start, there's so many things to point out. First off, the red and the blue on the original is brighter compared to the bootleg. The bootleg has it slightly darker and dull. The web lines and the quality of the plastic on the head is good, of course being original. But for the bootleg, the web lines are terrible, you can see them disjointed. And also you can see the quality of the plastic here, really bad. Scratches here and there, it really isn't as smooth as the original. And you can see the disjointed web lines on the bootleg. Up close, there's so many things to talk about on the torso. The corners of the web lines on the torso of the bootleg doesn't touch the edge of the red paintwork, unlike on the original. The cell shading line here is thinner compared to the original. Same goes on the other side. There is an obvious gap at the app crunch compared to the original whereby you don't see the gap. The web lines on the forearm is really terrible on the bootleg. Look at this on the left hand. Really bad and disjointed. Original one has it good. Cell shading on the leg on the original is right below the crotch here. But on the bootleg, it is slightly in front. Same goes on the other leg. This one is really more towards the front compared to the original which is more to the side. And look at the front of the elbow joints on the original. It is really clean but on the bootleg look at how poor in quality the plastic is at the front of the elbow joint. It's really looking bad. <laughs> and just like the bootleg Ben Riley Spidey and Symbiote Spidey, I feel that it's quite obvious that the edge of the crotch over here is kind of sharper compared to the original one which is slightly rounded and doesn't look as sharp. The web line on the shoulder butterfly joint isn't as good as the one on the original, looks out of place. And on the other butterfly joint, the angle is different compared to the bootleg. The bootleg has it going downwards towards the edge of the red area compared to the original which goes kind of parallel to the edge of the red paintwork. And again from the side, a bit more obvious, you can see the cell shading over here is thicker compared to the thin line of the bootleg. At the back, again, 
poor plastic quality along the edge of the app crunch here and the neck hinge goes a bit lower compared to the original. On my original, there's actually kind of a black line right in the middle of the spider logo. Does yours have that too? Do share in the comments. And of course, the paintwork on the shoulder ball you can see is not good over here. Same goes on the other side. The lines doesn't reach the edge unlike the original. Look at the quality of the blue cell shading on the figures. The original one definitely did better than the bootleg. And yeah, the web lines on the original is actually slightly thicker than the bootleg. And look at the paintwork of the web lines here. <laughs> so bad. And just like the front of the elbow joint, the plastic quality on the back of the knee joint is also terrible. Look at both of these. Compared to the good quality plastic on the original. There's also a wider gap between the top part of the legs and the bottom over here at the knee joint. Compared to the original, which is narrower. Same goes on the other side. And you can also see that the knee joint actually connects well to the top of the legs and the bottom. Compared to this one whereby there are gaps over here. Both at the top part here and also at the bottom part. It doesn't join up smoothly. And for the joints and articulation, look at the mid torso ball joint. It's really loose that the whole bottom part can shake like this. <laughs> when you compare it with the original, of course the joints are all good. It's really dangling over here. <laughs> when you move the upper torso back, you can see a gap. On the original, you can't really push it that back enough to see a gap. It can do the same amount of split. But upon looking at the split, I notice that the back piece on the inner side is actually red. Here's a clearer view. You can see on the inner side of the crotch here is red. The original has it totally in blue for the whole crotch area. For the elbow joint, the original can actually bend a bit more than the bootleg. For the knee joint, they can bend about the same. And for the accessories, for the webbing, I really can't find any difference. I guess it's almost exactly the same. The bootleg one is actually slightly whiter compared to the original. If you're able to spot any difference, do share in the comments. But for now, I really can't find any difference between these two. Same goes for the smaller one. Not really much difference. Except that I think the bootleg one is actually slightly smaller, maybe like 5% smaller. But yeah, that's it. And for the spare hands, I really don't have much to say except that the bootleg hands are slightly darker red, just like the figure itself. And look at the paintwork on the third and fourth fingers. The lines are really close to each other. This is the other side of the web shooting hands. And the wall crawling hands. Not much difference, like I said, except for the shade of red. The bootleg has it slightly darker. So just like the bootleg cell shaded animated series Venom, this bootleg cell shaded Spidey is actually even worse. At the very least, the bootleg cell shaded Venom has decent paintwork and overall looks okay besides the loose joints that I've shared about. But for this cell shaded Spidey, the overall look and quality of it is really bad. To me, even worse than the bootleg Ben Riley Spidey and Symbiote Spidey. So is it worth getting it at that price point of about 20-ish USD? I would say not really because the quality is really not that great as you can see from my comparison. You should definitely look out for the original. If you spot any other differences during this video, do share in the comments. Thanks for watching. Check out this playlist of bootleg Marvel Legends figures that I've gotten and did comparison before.